Hello everyone, my name is Reni Adejuan and I help to cross the T's and dot the I's in childcare, education and parenting. And I want to thank you so much for the likes, um, you know, for the views on all the past videos. And um, I do hope you're learning something as a parent, as a carer, and it's been very useful to you. So keep the lights coming. Um, remember to send your questions in because of there is um, there are prizes to be won. And for this month of February, I'm going to be adding this lovely um, gift. It's a bank, um, a bat battery bank, courtesy of um, Planet EMC. So you will have um, time to take as much pictures as you want of your children um, when you go out on your phones, just in case your battery goes off on your phone. So um, this is such a lovely gift that has been added this month of February. And of course, it has an extension. So um, keep those questions coming in. Um, keep them coming in send the questions in i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting to receive those challenging questions from you as it is the month of love i believe um as parents it is always a good thing for us to um show our children how much we love them in a very special way i know we show how much we love them every day but um to celebrate the month of love you know valentine's um, it's it's a good idea or it's a good practice to maybe buy special cards for your child or your children, um, make the, maybe make them special gift to just encourage the practice of love. If you have more than one child, um, encourage them to make a gift for each other, not just on maybe on birthdays or Christmas, but um, it's a way of serving. It's a way of showing gratitude to the family members around them, maybe their grandparents or their aunties, their uncles or their siblings. So, you know, the month of love is not just um, between um, spouses, husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, but, um, you know, you can definitely encourage your children to show love. Um, I mean, a love, an act of love in this um, month of February, just to encourage that practice in them. And you can buy them a special gift as well. As I said, make cards for them just to encourage that practice and happy, happy Valentine's Day. So today we're, I'm going to be talking about the two years olds. I'm going to be calling them the terrific twos. Some people call them terrible twos. Some people call them tantrumic twos. Mostly, um, I'm sure you've heard of the term um, two years old two, um, tantrum twos, but I'm just going to be calling them terrific twos because of they have an amazing um, personality. Um, you know, they are quite expressive, which is why, you know, um, you see maybe mothers and fathers or carers dealing with them in the shops um, or maybe outside um, crying themselves out, trying to be as much as possible expressing those emotions that they're still grasping and trying to understand themselves. So the two year olds for this month and, um, you know, I've talked about safety a lot Um right from the age of um, being able to crawl. But now they have that independence. You know, when I'm talking about normally, normal, the word normal developed um, children, two-year-olds, you know, most of them are walking around, gaining that independence. So safety is very paramount. I talked about in my last video, having an eye at the back of your head. Definitely at this age, you need to have eyes not just i but eyes at the back of your head including the two you have in front of you so because of um the safety they are so fast um you know i've seen so many videos of you know two-year-olds being in very dangerous situations and you're like how did they get there 
how come you know from the age of two to coming up to three but i'm going to be talking about the three-year-old next month but particularly the two-year-olds um that safety is very very important and i will say never i'm repeating it again never leave a two-year-old by themselves if you have to leave them uh, maybe to step out make sure they are strapped in a safe place and that is if they don't already know how to unstrap themselves because of, I say, and they're so intelligent at that age. They are so expressive. They're observing, you know, they've been observing you. So, um, you know, if you're going to put them in a safe place, you want to quickly step out, make sure, you know, whatever it is, you're putting them in, in a safe playpen, in a strap high chair, in a push chair, you know, just ensure um, you never leave them on, alone because of safety is very, very much paramount. I don't want to tell you how many dangerous close to call or even dangerous situation two plus has been. So I'm overemphasizing it. Safety is very, very paramount at this age. Um, the next thing is, which is all part of the development, is play as well. Um, I play is such an important part of um, child development, um, particularly the two year olds, because I call them terrific twos. Um, some people might say tantrumic twos. Some people might say terrible twos, but I'm going to choose to call them terrific twos. And, you know, playing, you know, they're asking questions. They're saying what, you know, the language is coming in as well. They're saying um, some of them are saying sentences, maybe two to three sentences. I mean, when I was talking about the one year old, they are saying three to four words. But at this age, some of them are saying three, four, five words in a sentence. Um, sometimes it's not coming out. Um, you know, the pronunciation or the phonics is not as advanced yet. So, um, you know, how they're pronouncing their words because of their, you know, their language is still developing. But definitely, um, the language is coming out through their play, you know, solitary play. That is, you know, they're still, um, they haven't, you know, they're playing side by side or solitary play at this time. So there's a lot of communication with themselves most of the time um, because of the, they're enjoying the sound of their voice, um, you know, being able to say words, getting onto that three-year-old solitary play. And language is very important. And this is where, you know, um, concerns about language can be identified. Um, it doesn't matter what language your child is speaking. Um, the most important thing is that they have words coming out. So at this age, um, based on, uh, you know, having worked in the health service, um, you know, children, are, parents are encouraged to um, seek maybe, um, you know, speak to specialists if they think um, there might be any concerns in relation to language and particularly any um, developmental concerns you might have this is at this age that you know you might have been having concerns but mostly from the age of twos um two-year-olds um medical intervention can tend to start you know it depends on what um concerns medical concerns you might have but particularly for language, it is encouraged that you um, get the support your child needs, particularly, particularly at this age when it comes to language development. Also, at the age of two, um, you know, you're dealing with behavior as well, um, because, as I said, tantrumic twos are what the two year olds are known for, but I will call them terrific twos but behavior because of their trying to be expressive um you know that is when you get a really strong assertive no or most of the time no that is i don't i i i would say um a two-year-old for me to get a yes from a two-year-old it is possible absolutely but most of the time you always get a no from them because they know that now they have choices you know they can say that word so um managing the behavior is very very important um we shouldn't get confused with a two-year-old looking so cute 
and forgetting to deal with behavior as well because remember we are raising humans and you know we as early practitioners of child development believe that every aspect of child development every um you know form of developmental process starts from the foundation so um don't get carried away with your two-year-old's um cute face or you're like oh that's so cute for you to forget about dealing with behavior setting boundaries in place um you 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 will be surprised that um you already started giving them chores from the age of two or even before when you're talking about tidy up so those behaviors those boundaries you're setting in you're helping them get used to certain aspects of life get used to certain responsibilities even from that age of two because remember they've been expressive um, setting boundaries in relation to safety is also very important communicating their language um, with them so you know behaviors going into boundaries then identity you know because i talked about them expressing the two-year-old being very expressive so they're trying to you know become developing their own identity is not formed but it's all part of the process of um maybe being caring it's more expressive um being helpful um or being more assertive or being more expressive um, so those aspects, um, the two-year-old, this is why we call them terrific twos, as I said, or tantrumic twos, because that identity is really, really coming out and showing in their developmental journey. So for today, uh, for the two-year-old, I've talked about safety, very important, having eyes at the back of your head. Um, making sure that you know you never leave them alone because they're very very fast i've talked about play which is still very very important um, i've talked about language um, i've talked about boundaries behavior identity and remembering that you are raising humans even from the age of two right from the foundation is very very important i hope to see you in my next video and you can catch all my videos at rennyadejumo.com. Have a good day.